Hello, I'm Nina Waro from the Institute of Marine Science of Barcelona, Spain. Here I present the ongoing work done in collaboration with the Barcelona Expect Center and the PIME platform, which is about the development of error maps for satellite SSS retrievals. As we all know, any data needs to be validated before its use. In the case of satellite SSS data, the common practice is based on the direct comparison to in-situ observation. However, this kind of validation has some limitation. First, it only gives information about the relative error, as we consider that in-situ observation are the truth, but we know that they are not perfect. Secondly, the direct comparison it is not able to take into account the different spatiotemporal representation of the two datasets. Satellite represents an average measurement over a given area for a given time window, while in situ observation refer to a single location at a single moment. So let's focus a bit on the spatiotemporal scale differences. Suppose three perfect systems resolving the truth at their own scale. Here the figure represents the wind speed as a function of the distance to the coast for three independent observation systems that resolve different scales. System 1 in blue and 2 in green resolve smaller scales than system 3 in red. The results of the difference between each data sources are not errors, but difference of their scale representation. If we estimate the accuracy of each dataset at the larger scale, the variance of the thinner scale will be interpreted as error by system 3. That's why it is important to account for the different spatial temporal representation when we want to estimate errors. In the previous work of Waro et al. 2018, error characterization of different SSS data at satellite scales was performed over tropical boys using triple collocation methods that has been developed by Stockland and which take into account the different spatial temporal resolution. In the triple collocation algorithms, the spatio different spatiotemporal resolutions correspond to the so-called R-square, or representativeness error. It's the common true variance of system 1 and 2 not resolved by system 3. And we need to have a correct value of the R-square to estimate the error and correctly intercalibrate the three data sources. So in the work of Wao et al, it has been found that the R-square contributes to 15 up to 50% in the error estimation. So here, the aim of this study is to use model-ready data instead of in-situ to create error maps. We focus the study to year 2017 in the tropical bands to estimate the error of the two satellite products of SMOS Level 3 BEC version 2 and SMAP Level 3 RSS version 4. We create various triplets where SMAP and SMOS are collocated to different data sources as Moring, Argo and the model outputs of the CMIPS daily forecast graded product. Note that as the triplets have different sources, it implies different sampling in horizontal and vertical depth. As system 2, which is MAP, and system 3, which is SMOTH, are always the same, the R-square should not depend on the highest resolution system. When comparing the R-square value obtained with the different triplets, these values are almost similar, except when using Argo. It is probably due to the fact that Argo measures a much more different salinity to that of satellites than the mooring or the models here. Now we want to verify the influence of the spatial temporal variability of SSS on the R square value. So we separate the data set for the different ocean and for different period of the year and we estimate the R square for the three triplets with mooring model and model at mooring position. We see that the R square value depends on the region or the seasons, and the R square are similar independently of the sources, meaning that the model can be used to create gridded error maps for SMOS and SMAP. Here you have presented example of error estimation for SMAP and SMOS with these methods for the three ocean basins in the tropical band. Thank you.